Hey guys, YC here. You guys asked for it, now here it is. Today we'll be answering the most frequently asked question here on this channel, which is what career opportunities are out there for biomedical science graduates and how much does it pay specifically here in Malaysia? Now before we get into the main topic for today, I would like to just answer some recent questions on this channel that I think some of you might find helpful. And of course, a lot of these are just personal opinions and should not be taken as financial or educational advice. Um, Joy asks, hey, can we do medicine after biomedical science degree? Well, the short answer, yes, you can. And you might even be able to skip a year or two since you have a biomedical science background. But of course, that's not always the case. It depends on a lot of other factors like your results, you know, which university we are talking about, the system at the current point in time, and so on and so forth. Siti asks, hello, is there any biomedical engineering jobs in Malaysia? Well, definitely there are, but I will leave these biomedical engineering topics to others that are in the field to answer because that seems a little more appropriate, right? Next question from Sherbin. Hi, do you think it's beneficial if you do masters in biomedical science after getting a bachelor's degree in biomedical engineering? Well, personal opinion, I think it depends very much on your, you know, personal interests. You'll definitely be more of an engineer after graduating with a biomedical engineering degree. So you'd be dealing with the machines and the physics of how things work and so on. But if you want to delve into a field that's much more related to the you know, human body, to health science, you probably want to do biomedical science later on. So last on the list, question from Yi Xun. Hi, is biomedical science a hot course in UM? Well, yeah. I'm quite hot myself, so that makes the cost, you know. Ah! Right, sorry for that. Okay, so relatively speaking, it's definitely not on par in popularity compared to other courses out there, like medicine, pharmacy, and so on. But I'd say that it's getting more and more popular lately, and maybe it's because of COVID, you know. People are starting to see the potential in health science industry in general. Yeah, we've also seen an increase in students picking biomed for their first choice in the past semester. So yes, statistically speaking, it's gaining popularity recently. So if you guys have any other questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll pick a few to mention them in the next video. Right, back to the main topic. Today, we'll be talking about job opportunities and careers in the biomedical science field, plus the more crucial question, how much do they actually pay? Just to clarify, I'm not speaking from experience since I'm still studying here, but I've been able to reach out to some seniors and this is what I've been able to compile. But of course, do your own research as well. Hey guys, sorry for interrupting. Yeah, original plan for this video was for me to list out all the available jobs for biomedical science graduates here in Malaysia. But yeah, I discovered something interesting and wanted to dive deeper into the topic because I think that not many people know about this. So yeah, there'll be slight change of plans for the video, but then do expect uh, more uh, content about career prospects for biomedical science students in the near future. Now, back to the video. Right, let's start out with the basics. There are tons of jobs out there, but it can basically be divided into two, the public sector, and the private sector. Generally speaking, the private sectors may offer higher pay compared to the public sectors, you know, due to their available resources, their funding, their client prospects, and whatnot. But for today, let's look at the government offices in the public sector here in Malaysia. Now, one thing to take note here is that there is a grading system for government offices, and all of this can be found uh, in the official site of the SPA, or also known as the Public Services Commission of Malaysia. Official link will be in the description below. Okay, so a brief guide to all of you out there who don't know how to maneuver around this official SPA portal. You first go to the link that I'll put down below in my description. You then hover down and click on this pink box right here. It should take you to this next page, which has a list of different academic qualifications. So clicking on um, either one would take you to a specific uh, page and it'll show you all the different careers or job opportunities that are available and you can click on it and it'll show you the necessary information such as the minimum wage, the maximum wage, the job requirements and also the job scope and so on and so forth. So there's a lot of information that you can get from this site. Uh, one thing to take note is that you could see this different grades right here. So um, 
I'll talk more about the grades later on, but just so you know, um, different academic qualifications would have different grades. So for example, PT3 will show you a grade 11 right here, and all the other um, academic qualifications would show you a different code, such as um, the degree level would show you a grade 41. Basically in this grading system, the higher grade you are, the higher rank you'll be. And of course, your payroll increases as well. Just like, you know, leveling up in a video game, right? Now, these systems are differentiated into a few segments based on qualifications as seen in the table. So, according to it, if you finish PMR, you are qualified to be in grade 11 to 18. After SPM, you are in grade 19 to 28. Diplomas, STPM and matriculation put you in grade 29 to 40. And a degree or higher qualification would get you to grade 41 to 46. Let me explain this further. If today you've just finished matriculation and is looking for a government position, well, you actually can, and you'll be starting at this grade 29, and if you continue on, you could actually scale up and get a higher grade, which would increase your pay. So naturally, since I'll be graduating university soon with my bachelor's degree, I'll start out in grade 41. Now, there are a few government positions in the biomedical science field at grade 41, and the pay varies from job to job, but it will hover around 2.3k for a fresh graduate. So refer to the official site for more accurate information cause today we'll be only scoping down to this one specific job, the Medical Lab Technologist or MLT for short. Now right off the bat, MLTs are one of the most common pathways biomed graduates take. And MLTs usually do routine work like procuring samples, processing them, and you know running tests and so on and so forth in labs of hospitals or even clinics. And we biomedical science students do learn and carry out these procedures, so naturally we would have the necessary skills and also experience with lab work. However, it has a bad reputation for being a low paying job in here in Malaysia, at least from what I've heard. Now after some research, I finally understand why this might have occurred and I'll explain why. If you look into the SBA official website, you'll not be able to find the MLT jobs under the bachelor's degree qualification. But if you looked up the group for diplomas, STPM and matriculation, which is the grade 29 to 40, you would actually see it right there as Juru Technology Magmal Purubatan MLTs. Now, upon further inspection, the MLT program is actually offered by several institutions here in Malaysia as a three-year diploma course. So what this means is that even if you've graduated university with a bachelor in biomedical science degree, you're still in the same bracket or grade as an MLT diploma graduate, meaning you'd actually be paid the same rate even with a higher qualification. And I believe it is of this reason that led to the misconception that a biomedical science degree actually pays a low salary. Now, the big question is how low is low, right? Well, according to the SBA official website, a grade 29 MLT job would pay a minimum basic salary of 1.8K plus allowances. This tallies with the number my seniors told me what their colleagues were making, so it might be accurate. Now, keep in mind that this is a grade 29 job that only requires a diploma course and not a degree. And in no way am I trying to discriminate the MLT program, but I'm just pointing out that if you graduate with a biomedical science degree, you actually would be able to venture into other higher paying government positions from the grade 41 bracket, which I'll be discussing in another video. So remember to subscribe for the latest content. So to conclude today's video, we've looked into the grading system of government positions. We now know that graduating with a degree actually puts you in the grade 41 bracket, which offers a higher pay. However, there are still many degree graduates that work as an MLT which only requires a diploma certification. And nothing wrong about it. But if asked for an opinion, I would say that if you are aiming to work as an MLT as soon as possible, the diploma program would suit you better as you graduate in a shorter term and the program would be much cheaper. Biomedical science on the other hand preps you more on getting into the research field. But you could definitely work as an MLT as well but don't expect a higher pay as it belongs to the same bracket or grade as a diploma graduate. Now that's all for today's video, all the related links are in the description below. Do let me know in the comments if you found it helpful so that I can make more videos like this. Like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.